tonight we're taking the Linsky out on our first kind of real I say focused ride where we got some road and gravel in the plan today ended up putting some uh, byway tires on WTB a little bit better for the road I'll say so might keep pretty good clip here in St. Augustine about to head over 312 bridge pretty dark as you can see got my lights I look like a disco ball let's right back here that's okay people can see me heading south on A1A to St. Augustine Beach a couple lessons learned already um, my glasses fog <laughs> guess humidity is up actually it is quite a bit um, feels pretty good actually keeping a pretty good pace on the Linsky here and not road bike pace but pretty good let's say it's a good good fast zippy little bike on the road I think tires kind of helped the other thing I learned is that my uh, water bottle placement is different than it is on my road bike because it took me probably 20 30 seconds to figure out where my bottle went after I took a drink muscle memory was not serving me well loud lawnmowers over there I don't know who mows at night or in the morning probably the same type of person who rides in the morning but overall feeling good heading down to Crescent Beach next all right cruising into Crescent Beach here at the boat ramp up here pretty nice little area got people coming in so I'm gonna make quick work of this looks nice there's the ocean looks beautiful all right I went south because I needed to get a few extra miles in heading back north now along St. Augustine Beach So far, so good. Bike feels pretty good. Legs feel good. Can't wait for snack time. That's coming up soon. <laughs> Probably when I get up and over Volano. Next up, heading, heading north now, A1A. <clears throat> we'll probably do uh, pass through St. Augustine Beach, hug the coast there, maybe stop at the, the pier. <clears throat> and then from there, head over into St. Augustine proper. Uh, just for the record too just so i remember um i did push my tires a little bit on the higher side i think i went up to 50 psi being more of a roadie it feels a lot better obviously a little bit faster i wanted to be a little bit faster on the road today before i hit gravel but really the telltale sign is going to be when i hit the little bit of off-road section to see how that feels but anyway, I just wanted to tell myself that, future self, just so you'd remember. All right, heading up north to uh, St. Augustine Beach. Got a little sunrise there. But one thing I'm excited about, I really couldn't show in the dark, are these uh, handlebars. Redshift makes a product. I'm a sucker for being comfortable when riding. So I took a look at these and it's almost like you could pack a snack in this top part right up here. It's pretty thick. And the other thing I like are the, the drop bar grips. I'll show you those. Seems to make you really comfortable. What I like about these is that many of us have been on a road trip. We feel pretty cramped. You still get where you're going, but it feels pretty cramped. Thing I like about these is it's kind of like going from if you're if you're a child of the 80s and you know the old hatchbacks right small base column five seaters but they're really not and then moving into something like a Winnebago where like RV where you can like stretch out it feels pretty good that's what this feels like it's got way more variety feels good so, so far I'm digging them, I'm liking them. All right, pulling into 
St. Augustine Beach Pier. Should be a beautiful sunrise up here. We'll catch this real quick. Probably have a couple friends surfing. <laughs> My neighbor's a surfer, so he's usually up here on a Saturday. Don't mind the Garmin. It's telling me I'm off course. I'm a local. I know where I'm going. Show you guys this. It's beautiful. Beach. Now that we stopped at the pier, heading over to St. Augustine proper. Obviously heading west. Got that sunrise coming up behind us. One of my favorite parts. Uh, favorite things about living in St. Augustine here on the east coast, northeast Florida, is that we get these beautiful sunrises. And usually I'm up early riding and I can catch them. So Makes it really nice, but here we go. Heading over into historic St. Augustine. Behold the alligator farm. World famous alligator farm. Only in St. Augustine, Florida, boys and girls. Actually, we took our kids here for many, many years. Great, great entertainment. Well done. Kids loved it. They're older now. <clears throat> I still like it. I would still like to go every week. That was kind of fun. It's like close enough, you know, 10 minutes from home, get in there, check things out, get home, have dinner, lunch, whatever. So it wasn't like a full day commitment. So we kind of liked it. But yeah, world famous, it's still going on there. Lots of gators. Then bonus, for those of you who can see that, a little lighthouse. There's the St. Augustine Lighthouse as we pass by Leonard's Nursery. Right there. World famous lighthouse as well. Okay. I've already hit one bridge, 312 bridge. Now we're gonna hit Bridge of Lions. Bike safe, thankfully. And from this bridge, you'll be able to see Volano as well. But pan over here. Kind of see Volano up and over. Nice little bridge here. There's Volano off in the distance. If you can see the beginning of it, we'll be heading over there next. Beautiful downtown St. Augustine. You don't have to travel too far, especially if you live here, to find beautiful places to ride. Chances are you got the same thing. This might look a little bit different. Cruising in. We're gonna hang a, a right up here. You can see the fort off in the distance. We're gonna be past that in a moment. I don't care who you are. That's beautiful. Check that out. Got a runner. Ready. I'll swing into the fort so you can get a closer look. All right, here is the fort here in St. Augustine. Some long shadows, morning shadows. Right. Made it through downtown St. Augustine. Crossing over now, heading to Milano, and then to our only gravel section. Heading directly into the sun, it's amazing. Beautiful. <laughs> I 
This came from that direction. Really can't see it, but I can. <laughs> Beauty. Just came from down there. See the lighthouse and downtown over there, but heading north still, or actually east and then north up to Volano and then ultimately to our gravel before we turn around and come back. I had to get this shot. Friendly cyclist. All right, we're cruising. All right, pulling over. A little bit of nutrition before we hit the park and the only gravel section. Feeling pretty good. Just need some food, and now feel better. All right, coming up to GTM Reserve, which is where I'll be doing. The gravel section. I'm thinking these guys might be going there too. Nope. <laughs> Quick check behind. No one's there. Double check. And we're going to pull in. Get ready to do our gravel section here shortly. About to hit the trail up here. Trail is pretty good pack. Rained last night, so should be. Tire pressure seems to be fine. It's a little firm, but not too much floating. I want to hit softer spots, but I don't think it works. Another thing I wanted to do on this ride was kind of start thinking about a kit that I could wear for longer rides. And I've done centuries, done multiple days of centuries, but I've never done more than like really 110 miles on one given day. So with adventure biking and such, it seems like some of those things should be considered. Um, maybe a bib that's gonna perform well in the environment that you're in. We've got a, a ride that we're doing here in a couple months here in Florida. It's across the state, so it's about 220 miles roughly. So a full day in the saddle. So traditionally I've gone with 12 hour bib from Pactimo, which has been a really good bib. You know, I've used them on a road rides and I've never had any issues but I'm comparing them with uh, LEL's L cap bib which has also been a pretty good bib and I'm sure there's a whole host of others that you get into but as I'm thinking about this ride and maybe some others that we'll be doing here in the next six months that is of importance because you don't want to be uncomfortable on a long gravel ride. All right, tires did really well at 50 PSI, surprise. But coming out of the gravel section, head up to the front of park, I'll refill a water bottle, and then about 20 miles or so, head back home. All right, out of the woods, on the trail home for about an hour ish of riding all road though so 
no more peaceful trails. We gotta keep our wits about us. But going pretty good. Almost 20 miles an hour. Not bad on these gravel tires. Next stop is a Volano Bridge for the second time. Behind those homes are the, the Atlantic Ocean. It's the only time you'll see 4% grades in Florida on a bridge. Volano Bridge Part 2. St. Augustine, north towards Jacksonville. Here's Truly. Alright, downtown St. Augustine. I have a gift card there. Should go there and eat. Take the family. <laughs> Just thought about that. Cruising up towards the fort. Back over to Bridge of Lions. Heading south on A1A to 312. Then we'll head west on 312. It's always a bit chaotic down here. Gotta keep your wits about you. Even though we're in a bike lane, but people don't always respect that. That's why I'm doing more gravel biking. <laughs> Be that as it may, nice blinker. We sometimes have to get on these roads, but we've got to be careful. Port. over in a minute in my left lane. Alright, got over the Bridge of Lions. This way was a little spicier. <laughs> There's not a designated bike lane so you kind of share the main lane. <laughs> so, a lot of traffic out. Felt like I needed to go as fast as possible. Keep the motors happy. Lighthouse again. And Guess where we're coming up to? That's right, the world famous alligator farm. Last bridge, 312 here, heading home. A few miles left, about five. That's it, getting close. All right, about to pull in. Had a good 70, it's like 73, 74 miles, pretty good. Mixed, mainly road, but had some other stuff on there. It's my daughter, <laughs> waving, I guess she's gonna go have coffee with a friend. I'd take an iced latte right about now. But uh, overall, pretty happy. A couple of things I'm gonna change. Uh, my uh, cadence sensor is in a crappy location. I'm gonna fix that fighting with that thing up this morning um what else i'm not gonna wear these gloves again these are really thin gloves and i thought that would work out because the uh bar tape and everything's pretty thick but i uh, didn't like the gloves i know that sounds kind of petty but you know if you're gonna ride you may as well enjoy it then but overall a great ride it's a good uh, test run for the fun that we're gonna be having